Hopkinton Hillers boys basketball finished off the regular season as a playoff qualifier with a record of 14-6. and six. The last regular season game was a 63-57 win over the Wayland Warriors. The win gave the Hillers the fourth seed and Wayland got knocked down to the fifth seed to set up a hillers Wayland rematch at the Hopkinton Athletic Center to open the first round of the 2018-2019 state tournament. All right, Coach, uh, so congratulations on your uh, 250th career win the other night. You're going back to the postseason, and uh, once again, you're going to see uh, Wayland. Um, first off, could you just talk about what it's been like to work with this group throughout the season? It's been a fantastic experience working with these uh, kids this year. It's a wonderful team, very together. Uh, the senior captains, Brendan Kelly and Michael Pubicott, have done a great job. All right, so you're going to see uh, Wayland again. You saw them once already. Uh, is it maybe a little advantage to see uh, the same team that you've seen already, or do you prefer to see a team you haven't seen? Um, it's a unique situation. We've never really had it before where we end the season with uh, a, the opponent that we're going to face in the tournament. So it's really unique, and I think it's probably uh, the same on both sides. I know they're probably preparing for a lot of the things that we did well against them, and we're trying to do the same here. So I'd imagine it works out pretty evenly for both teams. And you got a great win against uh, Wayland. Um, did you, despite the fact that you won the game, was there any uh, transitions that you saw you had to make for this upcoming playoff game? Oh, there's always, yeah, adjustments that we're going to try to make. Definitely, no doubt about it. So uh, we're trying to do that and over the next two nights, and uh, we're looking forward to having a good crowd on Wednesday night. And uh, lastly, after a kind of a rough start to the season, this team really came around and strung together a number of great wins. Uh, could you just talk about what changed throughout the season in this team? Uh, well, I think that uh, our schedule was very challenging at the beginning of the year. We had five out of six road games. We had some of the toughest opponents on our schedule to open up, and we did great coming out three and three, coming out of it. Our first uh, league game wasn't until the middle of January. Then we ended up winning uh, 13 out of our last 15 games. So I thought that we actually played very well in those six games. It's just that uh, the schedule was against us a little bit, you know. And uh, so I think they've been very consistent with their effort all year long and how well they've played all year long. It's all credit to the players. And also I've realized that Brendan Kelly has always been dominant in the low post, but he seems to be even more dominant lately and more accurate with his shooting. Can you talk about how he has played recently? Yeah, Brendan has been wonderful all year long. He sets up his teammates for outside shots and he draws the defense in and usually kicks it out to them. And it was really great to see him in the last game being aggressive and looking for his own shot as well. And we always knew he's a very talented scorer, so it's great to see him doing that now and we hope he continues it throughout the playoffs. The Hillers did a good job at shutting down Wayland's big threats in their final regular season game, and the captains are anxious for a shot to take down the Warriors in the tournament. Uh, it's been really great so far. Uh, the team's really together. I feel like we're all like good friends and have a lot of good chemistry together, so it's been really good to work with these guys. And uh, Brennan, how have you enjoyed playing with this group? Michael said we have great chemistry. Out of all my years playing basketball here, this is probably one of the closest teams I've been on. So we got that going in. We're not done yet. So T terrific. And you got uh, Wayland coming up once again. Um, are you excited to see uh, Wayland again, or maybe uh, did you prefer a team that maybe you haven't seen before? Uh, I personally definitely love to see him again. We love getting a second chance at another team. Uh, we just played him about a week ago, and we're able to get a victory. So hopefully, we'll do the same. Well, we know them and they know us, so either way it's going to be a great fight. I'm really, I've been excited for it all week ever since we played them. Let's see how it goes. All right, guys. Well, we wish you the very best of luck in the postseason. Thank you. Another Hillers team that made the state tournament was the boys' hockey team. They entered the postseason as the 11th seed in the South Division Three bracket and will battle six-seeded Bishop Stang in the first round. Hopkinton finished the regular season with 12 wins, 6 losses, and 2 ties. The Hillers hockey team will have a tough road ahead to get to later parts of the tournament, but certainly have a team that features a lot of talent.